Hello, welcome to another tutorial. Uh, today we'll be going over the basics of masking. Um, why would you want to mask? Well, perhaps you've got a piece such as this shield from a 1 to 144 red frame astray. Um, you'll notice that it's molded all in one piece, but there are separate sections. Now, if you'd like, you can paint the whole thing one colour, then go over the trimmers by hand. But another way to get a nice accurate paint job without seeing stuff like brush strokes would to be mask the two areas from each other. Um, so what you'll need to do obviously to do this is the, uh, the part. Sharp hobby knife. A something pointy such as this is a uh, skewer I use for holding parts of the paint but it's actually got a pointy end. Um, you don't want it too sharp, so just, just something with a, a rough point on it and some uh, masking tape. Now this is ideally the best tape to use for making for masking your models, that is the a Timia brand. Um, you can get other things such as um, stuff like this which is um, pinstriping paint for auto for cars and stuff. Um, as you can see, it's a huge roll. Ideally, it's plastic. It's made of plastic. This stuff, so it works all right. But ideally, you should be using proper modelling stuff. So first of all, what we need to do: um, decide where we want to mask. So in this case, for example, I want to keep um, the inside part red, but I want to change the colour of the outside here. So what we'll do is get some uh, masking tape and we'll just cut some off now when you apply the tape what you want to do is just slightly overlap between the two parts uh, like so Now, once the tape's down, um, what you'll need to do is just press down the tape along the raised edge. So you can either do this with your fingernail, but ideally, use something like this. So we start at one end, and just push down on the tape, like so, until it's all down. And as you can see now, there's actually a physical line there, we can see. Um, so, just out of demonstration's sake, I'll, I'll show you how to remove this part now. But um, what you do is just do the whole piece like that, with everyone the mask, and then you do this next step, which is to just take your knife. Now, don't start past it, start just inside the tape and gently run your knife keeping it pressed up against the edge but not too hard so just enough to cut the tape but not cut into the plastic and once you get to the end like that uh, turn it around and then just go back over that last little bit that you missed Just to be sure, just lightly just go back over it again, just to make sure that you've cut the tape. And then you can peel that off. Now what you're left with um, is a masked area. So what I like to do now is take your stick, just gently rub back over the top of it like so just to make sure it's sealed because as you peel it off it can lift that up so now that it's sealed what we do now we would go and paint it come back and um, peel it off all right uh, we'll just come back now just giving that a quick coat of paint nothing fancy just a quick scoot over so now what we're going to do is just to take off this masking tape. Uh, well, to do that, um, you can either use a knife to, to pry the edge or 
just use your finger now just to get a leading edge and just gently peel it back like so. And you'll end up with, as you can see, two separate sections of paint there. Well, in this case, bare plastic, but you've got the two different colours um, that's been successfully masked off there. Get a nice crisp edge and um, a lovely paint job on a single moulded piece. Until next time.